What is up everyone? The Toy Man 52 here with another terrible toy review and today I'm going to be reviewing the King Shark DC Multiverse figure from the Suicide Squad movie and this is the gold label version where I mean he's just the build a figure put together new shorts a couple of new accessories and less paint on the face so this box is huge very huge uh just kind of like the steppenwolf and the dark side figures but this one's a little more wider man just look at that guy he looks such a handsome shark doesn't he just look so nice and polite you know just i really want to feed this guy you know <laughs> just hopefully he doesn't eat me right so yeah this is the figure we got and mcfarland's been now reusing the build of figures and making them their own figures so king shark was like the first one i think to see this happen i think they're doing this with bane as well which has from the leaked photos zero difference whatsoever like i did not see any difference on that bane figure but i'm gonna not drift away that's a discussion video for later right. now here we are with the figure outside the box i'm gonna go over the accessories real quick so comes with the useless stand that i will never use maybe some of you do also comes with this cool new thing for the cards i don't care for this really because i don't i don't use uh I, I don't have a place to put this little stand but it holds the card in place um and it comes in just like this it has a nice little protector thing to hold the card in place it looks cool like i th i think it looks cool if you're someone that's into the cards you know you got something to use it for whichever favorite uh figure you got or you can leave king shark's card in there i have no use for uh this thing though i kind of wish they gave us like something else maybe a decapitated head that would have been cool but obviously it's too gruesome too much money so here's a basic plastic thing to hold your card in place and then king shark also comes with a severed um hand and leg so some guy gets eaten you know and yeah you know that that's that's all he comes with a couple severed pieces you can uh throw with your uh, king shark all right so now that we're done talking about accessories because you know that's it right uh we might go and talk about the figure now he has an awesome sculpt I, I love this sculpt. It's it's very unique. It's that dad bod king shark. Big chungus, you know what I'm saying? And the mouthpiece is really cool. I kind of closed it up all the way just to see what it would look like. And it's kind of a pain to get it back down. Come on, open up. There you go. So this is what I like, is that the top teeth move. So when it, it looks like it just really comes out if you pull it down all the way looks really cool um i love this uh look and you can have him doing that little shark wave you see in the trailer right, so there's a lot to say about this figure um there's a lot of people that were mad about him being released so close to the build a figure version i think i and, and there's a lot of differences that a lot of people don't know about i think there's the shorts total new design uh so I'm guessing that's a, from a different part of the movie. Maybe he wears those other blue shorts later. Maybe not. Maybe that's just McFarlane being McFarlane and, you know, milking out some King Sharks. But I think this is a little bit acceptable because there's so much you can do with King Shark. And he's such a great figure to be in his own box. Like, he's always been a Build-A-Figure. And, you know, at least from the DC Multiverse line. You know, no one ever got a King Shark, you know just by himself in a package so it's great for inbox collectors it's great for out-of-box collectors too you know if you if you really just want to have king shark and then you also get a couple of severed pieces and i'm just gonna see if we can fit this jaw really does clamp down guys like i'm kind of impressed i'm happy it's not too loose because if we remember with mattel they had some uh figures that could have their mouths open but it would be like forced open 
like Clayface, I think. I have him for comparison later. But yeah, so you can fit fit pieces. Sorry for the weight. <laughs> That's why my reviews are terrible, right, guys? But uh, yeah, you know, you can fit an arm in there. It takes a little work, kind of loose in there, but yeah. So very beautiful detailing. I think it's great. Um, so some nice joints movement. A little, little weird looking, but I mean. I don't think you need to have your king shark looking like all the way up. Kind of looks cool like this too though. Looks like Jaws. I'm gonna eat ya. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, weird, you know. Um, very interesting figure, you know. I I love it though. I think it's <laughs> king sharks. Just like yeah, I'm, I'm letting myself go. All right, now here is king shark next to his former releases in DC Multiverse, the Mattel line. And, you know, you had that Hammerhead version, which they were so close to doing the Suicide Squad version with the Hammerhead, which would have been cool. But it was, like, weird, I guess, because of where his eyes were, and it just wasn't going to work out with conversations in the movie. So I respect that James Gunn even tried, though. At least he wanted to do it, you know, but it just wasn't working out. And then... That other classic head. I, I don't know if they did this head because of the CW. Because I remember that's when that was coming out. But they're taller than the King Shark. Uh, the old ones. But they're not heavier. This is heavier. Um, surprisingly, I guess there's just more into it. Or just, you know, thicker plastic. But either way, I like them all. I think they're all great. You know, you got something for your comic side something for your tv show if you want to add and now you got something for the movie right. so if you are a fan of the harley quinn show then you know king shark was on there and he did a great job on that show like everyone loved king shark after that uh all of them were, were great on that show so if you do want to have an extra king shark from either your build a figure or this one and you don't really need to have two king sharks with your suicide squad movie this is a good uh, setup if you really wanted to do something. Here is King Shark now next to Killer Croc. Now, Killer Croc was the original monster guy for the Suicide Squad movie, the, the first one. And now with the sequel slash reboot, King Shark's kind of like that monster replacement. Obviously, they're not the same character, different personalities, different looks completely, but clearly they're both like fitting that monster role. Even though there's a few other weird ones in the uh, the new movie, uh, I think the Killer Croc here was pretty much replaced with King Shark. I would also like so, to add that the figure's leg articulation is there, but you ain't you ain't moving it at all. Like, really, no no movement whatsoever. It's gonna be hard to put this build a figure together. I'm not looking forward to that. Whenever my uh, other Suicide Squad figures come in, this is <laughs> you, you. You can't move it. He just he's just gonna stand there. So and he stands good. So there's that. And then you don't really need to have him in a running pose. I guess he's always a slow moving character, possibly even just swimming. So yeah, you know, articulation is all right, but it definitely could have been better. I get it, Ty doesn't want to ruin sculpts so much. So, you know, he, he didn't want to ruin the, you know, the jean shorts here. You know, the swim shorts, whatever uh, King Shark is wearing, you know. Um, I get it, you know, hey, he wants to hide those uh, messy articulation points because I think that's just something that McFarlane's kind of worked on. He's definitely gotten better, but it's still something that's like... They could have made this plastic just a little bit looser, you know, like a little more flimsy, I guess. Enough to keep it around his waist, but enough to move his legs, you know, get get some kind of motion in there. Because you really just, ugh, I just feel like I'm going to break the guy. I'm too scared to do it because this is the gold label. Probably be a little bit more risky with the, uh, the build a figure so this way i can see exactly what the leg joints are because i ain't gonna mess with this guy and 
I did want to make a quick comment about the face on how there's no blood on it. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, they, they just got rid of the blood. There's no blood on King Shark anymore. The Builder figure, I think, is the one that has the blood. And the blood didn't look good in the first place from pictures. Maybe it looks better in person. But maybe you'll be able to swap out the head and be able to throw that bloody head with this one. Or just take that old Build-A-Figure, well not old, but the other Build-A-Figure, and put these guys' limbs in his mouth or something. And just do it that way. Make it easy, plain, and simple. Alright, so that's all I had to say on my terrible review about King Shark today. I will be doing the Batman Unmasked in a later video. I do have some other Marvel figure reviews I'm going to be posting in the next few days. Those were already like pre-recorded before I even did my uh, discussion video. So I'm going to be doing some more of those, getting people's opinions on things. Really just bring in discussions for a big toy community out there. And that isn't really biased at all. So I hope you guys did enjoy though. Please like and subscribe. Watch my other videos. And I will see you guys on my next terrible toy review or next toy discussion. And talk some crap about some other things so hopefully i'll see you guys soon and take care